Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim my name is Dr Mustaqim Shah and in this lecture we will be talking about the uh, prostate carcinoma so prostate carcinoma is the most common malignant tumor in uh, men over the age of 65 years and it is the second common cause of death in men tumor related cause of death in men the carcinoma prostate arises in the posterior and peripheral uh, region so once the symptoms develop it is very late and the disease has almost uh, is almost in its advanced stages the age limit is um, between 50 and 65 years there is only 25% chance of the prostate ca but over 80 years there is 70% chance there are various types of prostate ca and various stages of prostate carcinoma so tumor in its t1a and t1b stage is a uh, uh, found incidentally during uh, tor while uh, tumor in t1c stage is uh, founded by psa measurement the localized prostate cancer is in t2 stage and the advanced local prostate cancer is t3 and t4 so the t3 and t4 stage a causes symptoms and are treatable the rest of the stages like t2 t1c t1b and t1a don't causes symptoms so uh, they are not uh, treated the screening test is psa prostate specific antigen and it can um, uh, detect only 2 to 2 to 4% of the disease 20% of the men with clinically significant prostate cancer will have psa value with a normal range what is the histology of the cancer so as we know that the prostate is a gland so the tumor is adenocarcinoma and the first change that occur in the tumor is the loss of basement membrane this is the first change and then the undifferentiated undifferentiated cancerous cells are added the gleason uh, a score and the gleason grading system is a type of uh, system that has assigned a score to various uh, areas of the uh, prostate gland so there are two types of histological areas and each area has been assigned with a score of 1 to 5 so two areas the score for two areas will become 2 to 10 how the spread of the tumor occur so the local spread can occur to the ureters to the bladder and to the nearby organs the hematogenous spread occur mostly to bones and so the lower back pain uh, is a clinical symptom and it occur mostly in prostate ca the lymphatic uh, spread occur to internal iliac and external iliac lymph nodes and uh, then spread to uh, various organs this is the tnm staging of the disease well t1a uh, the tumor will involve less than 5% and the tumor will be well differentiated and t1b the tumor involve more than 5% of the resected tumor the t1c is impalpable and found after a raised psa as we already said the t2 stage uh, is confined to capsule where once the tumor is in t2 stage it will be confined to the capsule it will not invade the capsule so the t2a is um, in wall only one lobe as it is a so it in wall only one lobe and this is determined by a rectal examination when suspicious nodules are um, when we suspect some nodules on rectal examination the t2b will in wall both lobes 
as we can see here it has a wall both lobes of the prostate and this one has a wall only one lobe of the prostate when the T3 stage of the tumor extend beyond the capsule as we can see here it has invaded the capsule then the T3A extend unilaterally or bilaterally T3A extend unilaterally or bilaterally while T3B involve seminal vesicles this is important and T4 invade the surrounding structures what kind of clinical symptoms a man can develop when he is suffering from prostate ca so only advanced disease give rise to symptoms the symptoms may include pelvic pain hematuria or dysuria bone pain malaise arthritis anemia pain cytopenia renal failure the bone pain arises due to metastasis and the hematuria and the pelvic pain arise due to uh, urine outflow obstruction and that urine outflow obstruction can cause a back pressure and can cause renal failure and the rectal examination irregular in duration uh, and stony hard touch a uh, stony hard feel and obliteration of the median sulcus suggests carcinoma irregular in duration stony hard uh, feel on touch suggests ca well prostate biopsy is done when there is raised psa so then we do prostate biopsy for metastatic disease we do prostate biopsy two types of prostate biopsies are uh, there are two methods of taking uh, prostate biopsy one is transperineal and the other is trans rectal nowadays the um, transperineal biopsy is uh, uh, becoming more popular in the investigation we do full blood count and liver function test so the full blood blood count will show us uh, anemia and uh, if the tumor has uh, metastasized so the liver function test will be abnormal the prostate specific antigen is neither sensitive nor specific it is mostly used for follow up that whether the patient is responding to the therapy or not so if the psa level falls after hormonal ablation it is a good pro prognostic sign normal psa increases with age due to bph like in age 40 to 49 the prostate specific antigen may be 2.5 nanogram per ml but uh, 70 to 79 years of age the prostate specific antigen 7.5 nanogram per ml is normal so if the psa is more than 10 nanogram per ml uh, it is a uh, highly worrisome radiological investigation we do plain x-ray this is an x-ray of the pelvis and uh, uh, it shows sclerotic metastasis and you can see the hard coarse type of uh, uh, outlook we can also do transrectal ultrasound mri and bone scan the treatment um, uh, is directed uh, uh, to the tre uh, the treatment is directed uh, and uh, the treatment is done using prostate specific antigen digital rectal examination and biopsy Gleason grade are used to protect pathological stage. Localized cancer can be treated by radial, uh, radical prostatectomy, radiation therapy, and active monitoring. And treatment of advanced diseases, palliative and hormone ablation, remain the first line therapy. So once the treatment is localized, we uh, go for uh, radical prostatectomy. The whole prostate is removed. Uh, and uh, then radiation therapy is given 
and we monitor we monitor the patient uh, and we do active surveillance we check for um, prostate specific antigen and digital rectal examination and uh, we take uh, a biopsy each year as the slide show that active surveillance we do active surveillance for uh, early disease we go for radical prostatectomy and um, in the radical prostatectomy we remove the uh, whole prostate the seminal vesicles etc and the uh, capsules are removed we can also do radical prostatectomy by laparoscopic approach but the complication are there is high risk of impotence and stress incontinence we can also do radiotherapy and brachytherapy for uh, localized disease like t1 and t2 for the advanced disease we do androgen deprivation if the androgens are deprived then the prostate gland will not be stimulated and uh, uh, the disease is suppressed we can also do castration uh, in the castration the um, testosterone which comes from the testes uh, they are uh, prevented from stimulating the prostate gland we can also do radiotherapy and chemotherapy but these are kind of palliative treatment and uh, uh, it is just for a symptomatic relief of the patient so i hope you will have enjoyed this lecture if you have enjoyed this lecture please uh, leave a thumb up and subscribe to my channel thank you